hello guys in this video let's discuss developer portal so developer portal it is a separate url or a website and developer portal it is a place where our api consumers they can log in they can find our apis and then they can test our apis see guys ultimately we want our apis to be available to the consumers right and consumer they should have some place or some interface where they can test our apis and obviously we don't want to give them an access to our azure portal right and that's why we have this developer portal now in this video we will publish developer portal that is admin publishes it see guys by default developer portal is not available right away so admin has to publish it that means he will configure developer portal and then he will publish it now after publishing the developer portal is available for the consumers okay now after the developer portal is published then we will sign up in this developer portal as an external user or api consumer and then we will sign in in this developer portal with that same external user or api consumer so guys as of now in this video we will just have an overview of developer portal that is why it is how it looks etc we will test our api from within this developer portal in our next video so it's because in order to test APIs from developer portal, we need to understand something called product and subscription. So we will understand product, subscription, and then we will test API in developer portal in our next video. So guys, we are in Azure portal and let's open our APIM instance. So we are under overview and first thing observe this developer portal URL. So basically this is the URL which external users or API consumers they will use to log in and test our APIs. Okay. Now on the left hand side, let's click on these APIs. See, as of now, we have three APIs that is Eco API, then historical share market data API, and then stocks API. Okay. Now again on the left hand side, let's go down. I guess, can you see this developer portal? So, guys, before we go further, See first, we are logged in with this email ID that is netonwhiteboard at the rate gmail.com and this is the admin user for this APIM. Okay. This admin user, he can configure and he can publish the developer portal. Right. So on the left hand side, let's click on this portal overview. So again, guys, as you discussed before anybody or external user can use our development portal, it has to be published right so as of now just a few minutes back before this recording i had published it but we can publish it many times as well now so the first step is we need to publish developer portal and then the second step is this enable course which again i have already enabled but when you will be working you have to simply click on this button that is enable course so if any if course is not enabled our consumers they cannot taste the apis so these are two simple steps so now let's try to publish this developer portal again okay so i will click on this developer portal so guys publishing developer portal it means how our developer portal will look to our end user what fields will appear on the ui so all that stuff we are providing over here okay so for example here as of now it says welcome to our apm course so i can configure this data then I can configure the images, I can add images over here. So all that configuration stuff I can do. So as of now here I will say, let's just double click and let's edit this. So here I will say, welcome to Harshal Kumar's API training. And now I will simply say save, I will say close and you see changes are saved. And finally, I will simply say publish. So we have configured and now we have published this developer portal. Let's go to our previous step. So guys, again, two steps. First, we have published this developer portal and second step, we have to enable this course. So these are two simple steps. And now obviously, as an end user, we want to sign up and then sign in in this developer portal, right? So let's go to this overview let's copy this url and obviously now this developer portal url i will open in incognito mode so that we can log in with a separate or different user 
so guys we are in incognito mode and here i will paste this url let's say enter so of course guys we will need to sign up and then sign in but but before that observe this it says welcome to harshal kumar's apim training so these are the exact configuration changes we made right so here now obviously i will say sign up so now i will sign up as an external user with my personal email id so guys i have provided email id password my first name last name and now let's say sign up so we have signed up but now it says follow the instructions from the email to verify your account so basically we have received an email and there we need to complete verification that's it so guys i opened that email and i simply completed the verification okay and now here i will say sign in so again now we are trying to sign in as an external user that is the user which we just created now okay so i have entered email id and password and let's say sign in and yes now we are signed in now let's click on apis so guys as of now i can see this one api only that is eco api right but here under apis if we see we have three apis that is historical data and stocks api as well and the external user cannot see these apis because he does not have the required subscription okay now guys one more thing i want you to see is under search here let's say users so guys see this we have one more user that is harshal external user and this is the user who just signed up okay so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening